Puberty is a time in a young girl's life when a series of hormonal, physiological, cognitive, and socio-emotional changes occur. These changes get underway when an area of the brain sends chemical signals to the ovaries that trigger the hormonal and physical processes that tell the body it's now time to develop the ability to reproduce. The physical changes that occur include the appearance of breast buds and pubic hair. Two years after the development of breast buds, a girl's first period occurs. In the United States, the average age for a girl's first period is 12. Puberty is a developmental period when breast cells may be more sensitive to environmental toxins, which can affect the risk of developing breast cancer. Studies have shown that women who start their period at an early age have an increased risk for developing breast cancer as an adult. Early age of a woman's first period increases a woman's lifetime exposure to hormones such as estrogen and progesterone. As mentioned earlier, during puberty, as the breast develops normally, it displays many of the properties associated with tumor growth, such as invasion, cell growth, resistance to cell death, and the formation of new blood vessels. Based on research on atomic bomb survivors after World War II, young girls who were exposed to radiation from the atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki were much more likely to develop breast cancer if they were in the age range when puberty occurs than were similarly exposed older girls or adult women. While research has advanced our knowledge of breast cancer, more research is still needed to uncover how cancer corrupts normal development processes and how exposure to environmental toxins affects breast cancer risk. Researchers at the Bay Area Breast Cancer and the Environment Research Center focus on the processes that control normal development of the breast to understand how cancer corrupts these same processes. Genes, Proteins and metabolic processes are analyzed to learn what effects chemicals or other environmental exposures have on the breast at specific points in a person's lifespan. Since during puberty, as the breast develops normally, it displays many of the properties associated with tumor growth, this suggests that tumors hijack processes that are used normally for breast growth. Mm -hmm.